Hello students, it's now time to learn and explore life with technology and livelihood education. I am your TLE buddy, Teacher Jeff, and you're watching DepEd TV. Every H-A-I-N-I-C-T, I'm here, Sir Jeff, your TLE buddy. Hi kids! Welcome to another vlog! And today, meron tayong gagawin challenge. Ito yung tinatawag natin na Needs versus Wants Challenge. At maliban sa akin na inyong si Kuya Jepoy, ay meron pa tayong makakasama para tulungan tayong identify yung mga bagay na makikita sa bahay natin kung ito ba ay pasok sa Needs or sa Wants category. At maliban sa akin na inyong si Kuya Jepoy, ay makakasama rin natin ngayon si Kuya Wilber. Kung sa Kuya Wilber? Mabuting mabuti naman, Kuya Jepoy. Ayun! When good. So ngayon, ang gagawin natin is meron tayong mga ipapakita ng mga bagay at i-identify ni Kuya Wilbur kung ito ay pasok sa needs or sa wants na category. Pero bago tayo magsimula, ano nga ba yung needs? Pag sinabi natin na needs, these are the basic things like food, um, clothing, and shelter that we need daily. And we cannot live kapag wala itong mga ito. Kapag sinabi naman natin na wants, ito yung mga bagay that we desire to have, pero kaya pa rin natin mabuhay kahit wala yung mga ito. So handaan na ba ko yung liver para sa ating challenge? Siyempre, handaan na. Handaan na. Okay, so sisimula natin sa item na ito. So meron na yung face shield at meron na yung face mask. So, Kuya Weaver, saan ba natin ito ilalagay? Sa needs ba or sa wants? Uh, sa panahon ngayon, dapat natin ilagay yan sa needs. Ayun, sa needs. Okay, lalagay natin siya sa needs. Sunod naman natin na ay that is... Uh, yan. So, meron tayo dito mga snacks. Ayan. So, saan ba natin ilalagay ang ating mga snacks? Sa needs or sa wants? Uh, ilalagay natin yan, syempre, sa wants. Okay, sa wants. Kasi nga naman, pwede naman, hindi tayo kumain ng snacks everyday and we still can live kahit wala yung mga snacks. Sunod naman natin is, this one, alcohol. Ayan. So, saan natin ilalagay ang alcohol? Sa needs ba siya or sa wants? Uh, sa needs. Sa needs. Tama. Sunod naman natin ay toothpaste. Ang toothpaste, syempre, ginagamit natin yan araw-araw, three times a day. So, sa needs pa rin yan. Sa needs pa rin yan. Ha? How about yung soft drinks? Ang soft drinks, wants. Sa wants natin na ilalagay. How about yung mga vitamins and medicines? Saan natin siya ilalagay, Kuya Wilbur? Uh, lalagay natin yan sa needs. Sa needs. How about yung water? Saan natin siya ilalagay? Ang water, kailangan natin uminom ng tubig everyday. So, needs pa rin yan. Sa needs pa rin yan. Okay. Sunod naman ay... Bola. Bola. Ginagamit natin sa paglalaro. Once. Pasok ko sa once. Okay. And this one. I'm sure makukutan kayong lahat dito. Oh. And ito okay, yung stop toy. So, saan natin ilalagay ang stop toy? Sa needs or sa wants? Ilalagay natin ang stop toy nito sa wants. Ayan, sa wants. Pero dito ka muna kasi masyado kang malaki. <laughs> okay, kids. So, tandaan niyo ha. So, yung tinuro, sa, tinuro namin sa inyo ni Kuya Wilbur, ang sinasabi natin ng mga needs, ito yung mga basic necessities na kailangan natin sa pang-araw-araw like food, clothing, and shelter. And we cannot live without it kasi nga kailangan natin siya for everyday living. Kapag sinabi natin naman na wants, ito yung mga bagay na hindi naman natin masyadong kailangan or gusto lang natin na meron tayo. And we can still live kahit wala yung mga bagay na ito. Again, so para mas matuto pa kayo about needs and wants, ibabalik ko na kayo kay Teacher Jeff. And that's all for now para sa ating vlog. See you again next vlog. Bye! Bye, -bye. Last episode, we made a simple product. I showed you the ingredients and procedures in making your own homemade pastillas which you can sell within your community or even online. At the same time, I also discuss the qualities of an entrepreneur. This time, I want you to be familiar with the words that we will encounter in this episode. Can you guess our unfamiliar words for today? 
arrange the given letters to identify our unfamiliar words. This word refers to things that we must have in order to survive. And the first word is need. This word means a strong need for something. And the second word is demand. This word refers to a desire or wish for something. And the third word is want. This word refers to be able to be bought for a particular price. Our fourth word is selling. This word refers to get something by paying money for it. Our fifth word is buying. This word refers to someone with something that is needed or wanted. Our sixth word is service. This word refers to something that is made or grown to be sold or used. Our seventh word is product. This word refers to the activity of making, buying, or selling good or providing services in exchange for money. Our last word is business. Remember these words so that it will be easier for you to fully understand our lesson for today. Have you heard of buy and sell? A buy and sell agreement is an approach used by sole proprietorships, partnerships, and closed corporations to divide the business share or interest of a proprietor, partner, or shareholder. The buying and selling business is by no means a simple feat. It's a science and an art. In entering the world of buying and selling, you need to make a concrete plan. Without a plan, entrepreneurs may soon find themselves in a position to deal with some serious financial consequences. In order to effectively promote your product, you should first understand the buying decision process and later prepare for selling strategies. A buying process is the series of steps that a consumer will take to make a purchasing decision. Let us see if you already have an idea about our lesson for today. Write your answer for the following statements. You have 5 seconds to answer each item. Number 1. These are basic necessities of people such as food, clothing, and shelter. People cannot survive without them. If you answered needs, that's correct. Number 2. These are goods that people desire or wish to have. People can still live even without these products or services. Electronic products and entertainment industry fall under this category. If you answered wants, very good! Number 3. It refers to get something by paying money for it. If you answered buy or buying, you're amazing. Number four, it refers to the act of exchanging something for money. If you answered sell or selling, you're awesome. And for our last number, number five, it refers to something that is manufactured following a process or grown and nurtured in order to be sold for a profit. If you answered product, keep it up! You're great! So, what's your score? If you got a perfect score, congratulations! If not, that's okay. By watching this episode, I'm sure you will learn more and get a high score next time. Did you know that buying and selling has a process? Let us start with the buying process. The buying decision process model starts with the recognition of needs and wants. Purchase will not take place without first knowing what you need and want. A need is an important product that you must acquire while a want is a product that you desire but is not important. 
Next to recognition of needs and wants is information search. Buyers search for the business environments to look for the potential product choices. Information may come from print, radio, television, and online advertising. Evaluation mm -hmm. of choices takes place after having different products or services to choose from. Here, the best product or service is chosen based upon the needs and wants. Purchase mm -hmm. decision step is where the actual purchasing takes place. However, this may be disrupted either by negative feedback or by unanticipated circumstances. For example, you want to buy a cell phone in Store A, but one of your friends told you that Store A is selling cell phones that are not of good quality. So, your decision to buy a cell phone at Store A will be disrupted. After purchasing, evaluation mm -hmm. is the next step which would determine whether or not the buyer will make similar purchases from the same seller in the future on the basis of being either satisfied or dissatisfied. For you to make more sales in the business, following the seven-step selling process would help you improve your business sales. Prospecting and qualifying. You have to research for your potential buyers aside from the people living in your business area. Pre-approach. Familiarize the needs of your prospect buyers. Approach. Make small talk with your qualified prospect buyers and build a business relationship. Presentation. Present your products or service and focus on the benefits rather than the features. Remember to keep it interactive. Objection handling. Objection or hesitation should be taken as an opportunity to respond to the customer needs and concern. This will help you improve as a seller. Closing. Closing is the time where the seller would ask if the buyer or customer is willing to purchase the product. Following up. Nurture the business relationship with a follow-up. This ensures business referrals. You may ask feedback on their experience using the product or services. Demands are steps ahead of wants. It is the amount of interest to a given product that consumers are willing to buy at a given price at a given period. It is important to initially do a survey in the community or any place you'd like to sell your product. By doing so, this you will make sure that the people would purchase the products or services you offer. Example of the existing needs in the school or in the community are the following. In school, school supplies such as papers, pen, pencil, and the likes. Bottled water is one of the most in-demand products in school and community that can provide a solution to the need. Used clothing, commonly known as Ukay Ukay Business, offers imported products and sometimes overrun sold at lower price. Street foods such as fish balls, shomai, and assorted kakanin can be sold the whole day and are offered at a lower price. Baked products such as pandesal, ensaymada, bread loaf, cakes, and other pastries are equally saleable. Among the products that are always in demand are food items. Let us now proceed with our first activity. Get ready with your pen and paper and list down your answers on your answer sheet. Write letters A to E to indicate the correct sequence of the buying process. For number one, this sequence takes place after having different products or services to choose from. Here, the best product or service is chosen based upon the needs and wants. For number two, this sequence is the next step which would determine whether or not the buyer will make similar purchases from the same seller in the future on the basis of being either satisfied or dissatisfied. For number three, it is the sequence where purchase will not take place without first knowing what you need and want. A need is an important product that you must acquire, while a want is a product that you desire but is not important. For number four, it is the sequence where buyers search for the business environments to look for the potential product choices. Information may come from print, radio, television, or online advertising. And for number five, purchase decision step is where the actual purchasing takes place. However, this may be disrupted either by negative feedback or by unanticipated circumstances.
Let us now check your work. For number 1, the answer is letter C. For number 2, the answer is letter E. For number 3, the answer is letter A. For number 4, the answer is letter B. And for number 5, the answer is letter D. Did you get a perfect score? If yes, very good. If not, it's okay. We still have another activity. Are you ready? Let's go! For this activity, I would like you to match the assigned letter of each selling process to their corresponding boxes. You will be given 30 seconds to answer. As an example, for box 1, the corresponding selling process is prospecting and qualifying. So the answer for number 1 is letter G. Now, it's your turn to try it. Let us now check your work. For box 1, the answer is letter G. For box 2, the answer is letter E. For box 3, the answer is letter A. For box 4, the answer is letter F. For box 5, the answer is letter D. For box 6, the answer is letter B. And for box 7, the answer is letter C. You have to identify whether the following is a need or a want. Write the letter N if it is a need and a W if it is a want. You have 5 seconds to answer each item. Number 1. Another pair of rubber shoes. The correct answer is W. Number 2. Vegetables. The correct answer is N. Number three, water. The correct answer is N. Number four, extra cell phone. The correct answer is W. Number five, bath soap. The correct answer is N. Congratulations! You did great! Let us now identify whether an item is a need or want. Let us now start. Our first item is a bread. If you consider bread as a need, you're correct. Our second item is hand accessories. If your answer is want, you're awesome. Our third item is medicine. If your answer is need, you're also correct. Our fourth item is a shelter or a house. If your answer is need, you're correct. And for our last item, face mask and face shield. If your answer is need, then you're doing good. Did you enjoy? Watch out for more on our upcoming episodes. Kids, remember that needs are the basic necessities of people such as food, clothing, and shelter, while wants are goods that people desire or wish to have. People can still live even without these products or services. The buying process starts with the recognition of needs and wants, followed by information search, then evaluation of choices. The fourth step is where the actual purchasing takes place, which is purchase decision. And lastly, evaluation where you would determine whether or not the buyer will make similar purchases from the same seller in the future on the basis of being either satisfied or dissatisfied. The selling process is composed of the following, prospecting and qualifying, pre-approach, approach, presentation, object handling, closing, following up. Demands are steps ahead of wants. 
These are the products that are in demand in schools and communities. School supplies, bottled water, clothes, street foods, and baked products. It is important that we set our priorities. Identify your needs and wants. There is nothing wrong in buying your wants, most especially if you have saved enough money for these things. You can consider it as a gift or reward for yourself once a year. Just make sure to prioritize your needs. Remember, just have faith in God and ask Him to direct your ways according to His plans. This has been your TLE buddy teacher Jeff saying, Be future ready with TLE. Don't forget our hashtag, hashtag SkillsMosagotCo and hashtag DepEdTV. Thank you.